Hello, this is Toph from Trifold Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how you can do basic, how you can do basic animations in Blender by using the Lazy Animation add-on. Uh, there are two things about this add-on, positive and negative. The positive thing about it is that it's free. Uh, the kind of negative thing about it is that it's really, really basic. I mean, really, really basic. Um, I'm using Blender 3.4 myself for this uh, tutorial. It's for Blender 3.4 all the way to 4.2. So I'll leave a link, of it, a link of it below the video so you can download yourselves and check it out. But the installation process is still the exact same. Go to Edit, Preferences, Install, navigate to where you've downloaded the zip file, click on that zip file, click on the Install Add-on. Let me type in Lazy here. Put a check in the box and then it's activated. This is on the right hand side of the UI. It's got a very, very basic setup. Um, it's got two types of path that you can use, busy curve and path. And it's got, got two types of movement, sequential and simultaneous. You can tell, from, as you can tell from the thumbnail here, sequential means to move in sequence. So it'll move uh, each model one at a time. When you go to simultaneous, it'll move all the objects all at once. So we're going to stick with sequential because that looks a little bit better. Let's press 1 on our keyboard. Uh, we're going to use the cube and two other models uh, for this tutorial. So press shift in our keyboard. Mesh, go to monkey. Left click on our move gizmo. Left click and drag Suzanne over to the right. Shift A again, mesh. And let's go to the cone. Left click on the cone. Left click and drag on the x-axis. We're going to reposition our window by left clicking and dragging on that hand icon there. And the way the add-on works is that it moves all your models to the cursor. So we're going to move our cursor to somewhere else in our scene. Let's press on the cursor option there. You can move it anywhere you want. I'm going to move the cursor to the top of the uh, cube here. Left click on our move gizmo also. Keep our cube selected. Hold down shift on the keyboard. Left click, left click. And let's keep all of our settings as they are. And let's scroll down and click on Add. Now, the other options that you have is the frame count. You can reverse the animation or you can remove it. Now, once we've already added our um, animation to the models, what the, the add-on does is that it creates a, some keyframes here for us to use when it comes to the movement of the models. But let's kind of reduce our timeline here to around 20. Let's click on the and option there, type in 20, enter, and press that uh, reverse, the jump to the end point there, and then press play on our keyboard. Or here, then you can see that the animation is working. Now let's end that. Now, as you can see, it just changed the position of the cone and the monkey. And I thought initially that this was a bit of a problem when it comes to using the add-on, but it's, not, it's an easy fix. Let's left click on your model and then press R to rotate it back. Hold down control as you're moving your mouse to actually move it in increments. Uh, do the same thing with Suzanne. Left click on her, R on our keyboard, hold down control and reposition her so that she's looking or acting straight up. And to have her facing us, press R, Z on the keyboard, hold down control, and then move your mouse. So that she's facing us that she was initially. And then when we press play, now that's been fixed. Uh, another cool thing about this add-on that I've seen is that you can add it, actually edit the paths. And whenever you change any of these icons here, you have to press add to apply those changes to the animation. But right now we just want to uh, look at the feature when it comes to edit editing the paths here. So left click on any of these lines here that the add-on creates. Uh, press tab and keyboard to go to edit mode. You'll see that there's a little dot here. Left click on that and that gives us these handles to work with. Click on our move gizmo. We can just move this as we want. Uh, you can press E to extrude it or to extend it. So let's press E on our keyboard. And it gives us more of another handle to work with. Let's reposition our window here. 
and then when we press tab we go back into object mode we can left click on our cube again and reposition our cube R hold down control move it in increments and then press play on our keyboard and there we go you can see that now the cube is moving along the new path that we just created so yeah this is a pretty simple basic add-on but it does what it's supposed to do which is move all objects along a path and that's today's Monday quick tip uh, hopefully you guys will download it yourselves and check it out and give it a walkthrough and hopefully you have all learned something from watching the uh, tutorial I uh, really appreciate all of you guys and remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one All right, adios